Storm Shield forecast only on Fox 47 News. All right, Caleb, you know that I love summer yep. and I'm not ready to say goodbye to it, but today's temps made me do the unthinkable. Uh oh. I bought a fall candle. Oh. I know. Okay. I know. I'm not, I'm excited for that, the fall, but that I'm means not, you're ready. No, not yet. That means you're ready for it. Let's no, go. it's still August. <laughs> Touche. I mean, this weekend was perfect Caleb weather. It was cool. <laughs> temps in the 70s. I understand why I made you think of fall. Fall like today for sure. Our high temps only in the upper 60s, low 70s right now. Still on the chilly side. Here is our sky cam outside the studio. We're mostly clear right now. And our temperature is already down to 59 degrees. A fall like night setting up for us. Good sleeping weather though. Maybe turn the AC off if you had it back on today. Open the windows and just kind of enjoy cooler air as it comes into your bedroom. Here's the almanac today. So we did stay below seasonal. We only got to 72 degrees in Lansing. Average 78 or low 54. Also slightly above average. We didn't see, see any precipitation that puts our average or our monthly total is at 3.45 inches. So a little bit above average as far as precip is concerned for the month of August. Here's the temperatures right now. Everybody kind of in on the chill already. We're at 55 degrees in Elma, 56 Owasso. Everybody else kind of seems to be around that 60 degree mark. A couple of low 60s there in Jackson is at 62 degrees for us. The dew points, they're very comfortable. This is what I like to see as well. Dew points in the 50s. That is uh, indicating a very comfortable air mass out there. Tomorrow looks like a nice one too as far as dew points are, gonna cons are concerned. We're going to see them stay in the 50s. By Tuesday, we'll see him climb back up into the 60s. So that's probably what Nicole would be more appreciative of. Now, here's the satellite and the radar. We're going to see through the overnight hours some high clouds overhead, but otherwise not a bad night for us. Again, just kind of on the chilly side. As I zoom out, you can see we do have high pressure firmly anchored over Michigan. The influence of our weather over the weekend. That's why we've been dry after what we had that active uh, stretch of weather at the end of last week. But you can see out to the west, we do have a cold front that is moving through the Dakotas. That is gonna very slowly move this way, ultimately passing through Monday night into Tuesday, and it's actually gonna, gonna stall out over us for some active weather by the middle of the work week. Let's go ahead and time things out for you here. Moving through the overnight hours again, you can just see us staying with this high cloud cover. As we hit into the day tomorrow, we'll start off with a lot of sunshine. Tomorrow looks like a pretty nice day for us. We'll see mostly sunny skies through the day. You can see our wind vector is kind of switching to a more southerly component. That's going to help pump in a little bit higher temperatures. We're going to see our high temp tomorrow get to around that 80 degree mark. So that's a little bit above average, but still with lower uh, dew points, it's going to feel pretty comfortable for us. So then we have this front move through. It's going to be very weak in nature, not a lot of moisture to work with. So it's going to potentially touch off a light shower or two, maybe some spotty drizzle Tuesday morning. Most of us will stay dry and you can see it kind of fizzles out with us. And then it stalls out overhead right over our region. So we're going to see a lot of cloud cover as we move through Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. We're also going to see a wave of energy right along that. And that is going to provide us with some precipitation uh, Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. Nothing crazy. I think we see, generally speaking, maybe a quarter of an inch to a half an inch of rain from this. And then behind that, it does move off fairly quickly, setting up a nice second half of the day on a Wednesday. Now here's a temperature trend. So again, we get a little bit warm. We should be in the upper 70s. We're going to be right around that 80 degree mark Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. The warmest day, but behind a secondary cold, a stronger cold front on Thursday, our temperatures are going to return to the cooler side, We're getting down to 73 degrees on Friday. And by next weekend, we see our temperatures both days staying in the mid 70s. Now here's a long range outlook beyond the next seven days. The Climate Prediction Center does have us in below average temperatures forecasted. So our average temperatures again in the upper 70s, the next eight to 14 days, looking like we're going to be a little bit below average. The forecast tonight, we get down to 55 degrees, partly cloudy out there. Southeast wind at 5 to 10 miles per hour. For tomorrow, we get up to that 80 degree mark. Lots of sunshine. Going to be a comfortable day for us, though, despite that 80. Lower dew points, lower humidity. Going to feel pretty nice. South wind gusting to around 15 miles per hour. Now, the next three days, again, tomorrow is a pretty easy day to plan your day around. We're going to see... Uh, we're going to stay dry through the day. Lots of sunshine uh, by the late afternoon, evening hours. We'll start to see clouds thicken up a little bit. High temperature around 80 degrees. Now for Tuesday, we have that cold front kind of stall out overhead. We see showers arriving late in the day as that next wave of energy moves through. And again, I was talking about dew points. So again, it's going to be comfortable tomorrow staying in the upper 50s, but our dew points getting to these humid levels in the upper 50 or upper 60s uh, by Tuesday. Wednesday, we see a couple of showers linger early on. Our temperature of 81 degrees. Then on Thursday, we see another, another cold front move through. And we're going to be a pretty chilly behind that cold front. All the Great Lakes region getting in on the chill 60s and 70s for temperatures. By next weekend, mostly sunny on Saturday. And then we see a couple of thunderstorms returning to the forecast by next Sunday with a high temperature 76 degrees. Cole.